Meet the big brown bat. Big brown bats are the most common bat species in Rhode Island, and they have a really interesting yearly cycle. Their behaviors change based on the amount of food that's available, which is bugs. During the spring, when the weather warms up, all the bugs come out, and that means the bats come out too. Big brown bats emerge from their winter hibernacula, which is the place where they sleep during the winter time. Most big brown bats actually migrate from northern states like Vermont, where others, just a handful, will stay here in Rhode Island during the winter. In May, females will gather together in what's called a maternity roost. And these can be in old barns, in attic. They can even roost in cities as long as they can find a nice warm place to tuck into. In mid to late July, the pups are ready to spread their wings and fly and forage for food on their own. As the weather cools down in the fall, bats will eat up as many insects as they can to store up energy and get ready for hibernation. The bats that move up north, they stay in caves, and the ones that stay here in Rhode Island are typically found in houses or stone structures. During the winter, big brown bats sleep in hibernacula, and in these places, it's really damp and cool, which is the perfect place for fungus to grow. White nose syndrome was discovered in New York State in 2006. Since then, it has spread across the United States, killing millions of bats. This disease is caused by a fungus that grows on the nose and wings of bats. This fungus causes the bats to wake up during the winter time. It dehydrates them, and that causes them to lose all that energy that they stored up during the fall. In Rhode Island, we've seen a decline in our bat populations. At the Division of Fish and Wildlife, we monitor bats each year to help in the nationwide effort to save them. So now you know when bats migrate, have their pups, store up energy, and hibernate. So keep your eyes on the skies for our batty friends.